Hey everyone, Rick Nature Productions back with another review. My third review for today, and it's on the D Arts Mega Man X figure. Now, I did do this figure before, but I was actually a bit, uh, I felt like that it didn't turn out well, so I deleted it, and this is the, basically a remake review, or re-review, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's Mega Man X from the D Arts line. Awesome figure, very cool, I just wish that, well, that it didn't have problems. Though, it's almost perfect. It's almost a perfect figure, aside from a few flaws. The biceps still don't rotate, but hey, the elbows rotate. But though it looks weird. But still, and yet the paint did come off on my gem, so you might. It doesn't look like it, but paint came off the gem on his forehead, so I had to color it up with a marker. Now before we get to the figure, let's look at his accessories, since he actually has a lot. Well, not too much, but still. He comes with two open hands, two alternate faces, oops, dropped it. A yelling face and a growling face. An alternate arm piece with a and a with a fist that you could plug onto. There we go. I'll put this on later. Two blast effects. He comes with the triple blast effect that you can take apart, like so, and swap it around and stuff. But for some reason, this piece does not want, does not like staying on. I mean, no matter how hard I push it, it will not stay on, and that's the most frustrating bit for me. Hold on, let me. See, I mean, it stays on, but it's really easy to take off. Yeah, the, oops, the triple blast effect, as well as the charge shot. And this thing can come off too, though it actually stays on a whole lot better. And he actually, if I can find it. I forgot to show you, I keep my figure in this little baggie in travel when I have it. Like, if I bring on a vacation or something, but so it won't break. Anyway, that's just what something quick. He has the extra buster cannon tip. Because this one actually has a red gem inside, and it's easy to swap out. You just take this off. And you put this on. Now, there is a little post on the side. If you want to make sure it fits on, like so. Up there. And you can charge, plug in the blast effect. Now, it does make him heavy. A bit. But still. Personally, I rather have them without the blast face with just the red gem. But yeah. Now one thing though, I'll just get out of the way. Capcom decided to not make any more Mega Man games, and for the 25th anniversary of Mega Man, they decided to have the digital arts create toys. Now I'm not saying the toys are bad. I mean they are actually amazing. But come on, Capcom. Where are the new Mega Man games? I mean, where's Mega Man X9? Where's... Where's 
classic Mega Man, like Mega Man 10 or something. I don't know. I mean, where are those games? I mean, we want to see them. Yeah, that's one thing that sucks. That Capcom's not making more Mega Man games, and it, I think it's both pathetic and I think it's bullcrap. But yeah, anyway, and the arms are easy to change out. You just pop off the uh, Buster Cannon. Yes, this thing is loose now, and you can swap out for a normal forearm. But yeah, this is just a problem on my figure. The elbow only rotates, but not the bicep. So that that sucks. And it's easy to switch out the face if you just pop this off. Like, oh, before I show you that. Oh, come on. And sometimes the front of the face, the front of the helmet does not want to close. There you go. If you have the Ultimate Armor X, you can actually use his faces. Like this. Huh. Like this one, whereas the darker eyes. Cause on this one it has the lighter color of eyes. I'm not really a fan of this. I think these are more accurate. So anyway, you pop the front of the helmet off. It will take the face with, but yeah, there's the face. You can take the face you want, put it in, and seal it back up. And there we go. But, yeah. And you can switch out the hands. It's only a double ball peg joint. I don't really display much with this. But anyway, articulation. He has a ball hinge at the head so you can move up and down. And it can rotate side to side. And it's actually on a ball peg joint on the neck. So you can move it pivot side to side, up and down, do whatever you want. So yeah, ball hinge at the head, ball peg at the neck. He has a ball peg pegged shoulder, so you can rotate, move it up and down, back and forth, and a ball hinge as well. The shoulder pads can move a bit. His biceps are supposed to rotate, but only the elbows rotate on mine. He has a double jointed elbow. He has a double ball pegged wrist and the forearm just came off. Ah. Yeah, sorry for the groaning and stuff. It's just my iPod's plugged in and I have to get my right arm over it. Anyway, he has a ball peg at the torso as well as the waist. Uh whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Luckily, it pops back on. There we go. I mean, yeah, it moves. So, sometimes I wish it didn't because trying to keep the torso straight is a pain. Hold on. There we go. His legs can move forward. They can move. They can't really move back. They could go in and out on a ball peg, a rotated ball peg, hip, double joint knees. He has a ball peg at the front, at the top of the foot, and at the bottom, and a hinge. So you could move the legs, or the, oops, the feet anywhere you want. And that's one problem with the figure, sometimes they end up popping off easily. The feet end up popping off. and. I have to take this off camera again because it's actually a pain to put it back on. There we go. 
but yeah, re re really articulated. Sorry for the stuttering. Would you pop this off? Put the push the cannon back on. God damn it. There we go. But, yeah. That's the redo Mega Man X figure review. Hope you guys enjoyed the, re hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.